Hi, welcome to Gardenville.tv. Well, we are planting today and oh boy, the colour in the garden at this time of the year, it's where you want to be. What is this magnificent plant? This is a candelabra primula. Now, you brought me this. I not could tell you exactly which named varieties. I'll is, be honest, I bought this at the side of the road earlier <laughs> this morning. There was a guy up selling, he's got a garden centre and he comes up and he sells these plants from the garden centre up in the local village and I stopped and I said, oh my, his colour range was fabulous. This jumped out at me. Just look at it against your Great dad. combination. Um, no, it's a <laughs> candelabra primula. These candelabra primulas, they like a moist soil yeah, uh, they'll take a bit of shade, and you can okay. grow them actually be on a stream side in a bog garden almost, or in the border. Just don't right. let them dry out, and divide them frequently because, as all primulas, uh, vine weevil are very fond of the roots. So if you keep dividing them, now let me catch you there. Vine weevil. What are we talking They're about? They're a horrible little hard-shelled beetle that lays its eggs and the grubs like to live on the roots of certain oh, plants. Oh right, so it'll actually destroy the plants. It'll actually destroy the plants oh, if they right. suddenly start to wilt and you pick it up and there's no roots, the fine weevil. Okay. Plant it out in ordinary garden soil, that'll be less of a problem than if you're growing stuff in pots in a compost. Oh right, so. okay. So, how big now? You've gone for quite a big um, hole um, here. Yes, now these like a bit of peat in the soil, so I've put plenty of compost in. The, so the hole you always make quite a bit bigger than the actual pot door. Right, Just okay. gives the roots a chance to make their way out into the soil. Now what so about helping those roots a bit? Do you need to no, sort of... No, no, these are lovely fresh roots here okay. and they haven't got wound around the pot or anything. They're not, okay, so not they're pot bound. No, oh right, fine. okay. Okay? Yeah. So, in so we go. here we go. Now we you've go. put some peat into the, uh, moss peat into the soil, Susan. Yeah. I Why mean, is that? That's because primulas like a bit of peat in the soil. They like oh, okay. a bit of peat moss in the soil. Okay. And I've mixed, mixed it through the soil that I'm backfilling with as well. Oh, right, okay, so it's not just sitting on yeah. top. Yeah, okay. And then you're patting it down nicely, you're not I'm not being too hard on it. on it because the soil is quite moist. We've had a lot of rain, and if your soil is moist or if it's heavy, don't tramp on it because it just breaks up the soil structure and squishes the plant into the ground. You know, you don't realise how delicate the actual plant is when you're planting it in. Sure you don't. Well, it's, it's not so much so delicate, but their roots like to, you know, are quite um, small, so they like to be able to make their way out yeah. into reasonably sort of um, friable soil as opposed to really compacted, hard, solid stuff. Now, the flowering season for this, how long will we get? Oh, golly, it's starting to flower here. Now, you see there are buds yeah. here at the top. Beautiful. It's starting to flower here, so you'll get... Oh, probably six weeks or so from them. Oh, which is great. And if you it? have a whole range of them, it'll probably extend the, the flowering period. Okay, okay. And um, feeding or anything um, that we them, need to know? Don't mulch over the crown, but mulch around them with manure in the spring. Okay, when that's they're coming up again. to help it yeah. build itself mm -hmm. up. Now, watering. Again. What about watering? Water in well. Yep, I'll leave that to you. Well, <laughs> you know me and watering that, Susan. <laughs> I usually well, forget I'll... about my plants. Um, but um, this is a magnificent, I think, very stylish watering it's can. It's a lovely watering can you've got. Yeah, yes, it's I the halls, and I know you, you're very keen oh, on yeah, this the, product. The Rolls Royce of watering cans for the gardener, definitely. And this watering can comes in different styles, different feeding units, doesn't it? Yeah, the, you, the rows, you can either get a, a, a spout on them, I think, which gives you for easily for watering pots. Yeah. You so go right down next to it. Yeah, this is around. a very delicate uh, watering can, isn't that's it? That's great, that rows for watering seedlings or something in, or watering in. Because it's got a, such a delicate flow to it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But here you can be a little more generous with this poor fellow here. Okay, now these watering cans are available at Gardenville.tv. If you go on to our shop, um, which is packed full of fantastic things now for the garden, isn't it? Yeah, I mean the shop is terrific and you know you can do your shopping in the dark and it's great and save you time when you yeah. actually want to be out gardening. So and delivery um, to your door. And you know if you if you weren't keen on a red watering can, well there's a pink watering can, there's a blue watering can, there's a watering can for anybody really <laughs> in the to collection. Go, to go with any jacket. Oh well yeah exactly, a little bit of a contrast here. But anyway that is a horse watering can and is available at Gardenville.tv. Come on our website, have a look, and uh, we'll continue with our job here. Join us on Facebook, on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. If you're 
planting and growing at the moment, come and share your knowledge with us at Gardenville.tv. Until the next time.